Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn, Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn, Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn, Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn, Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn. Guess which one is upset? Yeah, you got it. Yo, alright, let me see. Look, look, okay. <laughs> I gotta formulate my thoughts. Formulate. <laughs> Why ain't Morgan Webb and what's it, Olivia? How come they ain't complaining? In love with him. And she loves the fact that she she loves that he don't love her. Alright, so this video uh, goes on the topic of Frost takes on treatment of women in gaming. Must watch. X Play Live, right? Now, with a video like this, with topics like this, right? Try not to watch it as a man with morals and shit like that. And, and this is why I say, like, when women start talking, as a man, you have to know how to read between the lines. Or when bitches start talk, or when bitches talk, because women will 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 manipulate shit to force it into this whole like God bless America situation without looking at the and 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 they and, and they'll they'll instinctively try to like focus on one area when when in the reality. The problem is something far deeper and a lot of times within themselves for real. Right. But then with that, that issue within themselves, that's just woman. It's not just for all scores, not because she's going to mention other women and problems not in in there. The problem is just, this is just what women do. So when you watch this four minute long clip of her speaking. You have to remember to listen to it as a man who's thinking about the total overall view and, and what's going to happen in this. Right. Because, again, she's going to try to focus it back to men and all this shit like that. Like, you know, like, because that's what women do. Because they can, accountability is, is woman's kryptonite, right? That's what it is. Accountability is woman's kryptonite. It's what she's going to do. So, again, try not to watch this as a man with, with a genuinely actual, with a genuine decent sense of morals and, you know, <laughs> shit like that. You, when, you have, when you listen to woman, you always have to remember this is woman, Right? What is she really getting at? What is she? And usually you nine, at least nine times out of 10, what she's getting at is. And like I said, in older videos, when women get mad, it's usually because she's realized she's not the prettiest in the room or she's not getting the, the uh, you know, attention like the prettier girls in the room get. And it, or, you know, see, it's usually some silly shit like that or or her mother just called and now she's in a bad mood, you know, some some shit like that. When it comes to like morals and fair treatment in the world and shit like that, women really don't care about all that. This is what I said a long time ago. See, when when this is what I said in older videos. As if a woman is winning as woman, if woman is winning as woman, she doesn't give a fuck about the right to vote. She doesn't give a fuck about poor starving children in Africa. She doesn't give a fuck about any of that shit. If she's winning, if woman is winning as woman, she doesn't care. The only time that, that all that complaining comes out is when she's not winning, is when she's not winning as woman. Meaning, meaning um, she's realized she's not the prettiest in the room. And there's other women who are beating her in that kind in, in the in the competition of being attractive. No matter what they look like. Right. <laughs> it's just it's just because every woman has her tier woman and who she's competing with and all that. You see. So here we go. We will start this video. Four minutes long. Now I'm getting my red pill analysis on it. <laughs> so when this originally happened and my gaming grievance was actually going to be about Red Dead Online. So the subreddit for Red Dead Online, I'm a huge Red Dead Online player. I love Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's probably my favorite game of all time. And right now the Red Dead Online community are trying to get this hashtag going called Save Red Dead Online. And they've got it covered by Kotaku, Polygon, um, Game rants like Forbes, I think, also did a coverage of it, and they think that this will get Rockstar's attention and Rockstar will come back to them and give them exactly what they want. And we can actually scroll this down. I'll tell you when to stop scrolling. Good. Stop right there. But I'm here to tell you, and you're going to have to cut this B-roll in a second, because it's, uh, it's done. And what I think, I do think that there is a larger discussion about Red Dead Online and that we need to have eventually about game design versus immersive experience and comparing the Red Dead Online multiplayer experience versus the solo player one. But I actually want to talk about something so much more important than Red Dead Online. Sexism in gaming. Mm -hmm. In joining mm -hmm. G4... <laughs> 
<laughs> this is not where I thought we were going, I know, but you I'm here. I have no I'm idea. Here. I'm listening. Yeah. In joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us, I can see you, without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. <laughs> it's somehow... Talk to him, Frost! It has somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment. That's it's weird. not a compliment. It's weird! It's dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. <laughs> hey, she cooking, y'all. And that's just <laughs> obvious sexism. You don't need to explicitly objectify women or declare that you hate women to be sexist. Just go ahead and check out Thorne's latest meltdown on Twitter for some spark notes. Now, here at X-Play, our reviews are written and produced by a team of people. There are too many games for one person to shoulder the burden. So we divide and conquer. And when we use language like we or I, that's the reviewer. That's coming from the mouth and experience of the reviewer reading that review. View. And that's not to say that Gerard, TBH, Adam, or myself don't contribute to the reviews. We absolutely do. But it'll always be in varying degrees and take a whole team behind us. That's why we're X-Play and not Adam-Play. We have done <laughs> the experiment and controlled for the variables. Adam will read a script written by the same writer that I will read the other half of the script for, but I'll be the one flamed. And yeah, it also happens to Gerard and TBH, but that doesn't discount the sexism of how it happens to me when it does. Both things can be true, that there is a general hatred of any change that isn't Adam, and that I'll receive special flame just for being a woman. And I wish I could turn the camera around so that you could see the incredible team that make X-Play. Half of our producers and writers are women. Emily, Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Gabby, it goes on and on and on. Former writers that are now on ATOS like Vanessa. When you're in our DMs or on those YouTube comments or in Twitch chat right now, those reactionary threads thinking that I'm somehow ruining your current X-Play experience <laughs> because you can't objectify me how you previously did to Morgan or that I'm somehow less qualified That's to speak on something. That's what the problem you can't is. quite put your finger on why <laughs> even though I'm reading the exact same script as Adam, but you have no problem with he's part of it. You're letting your unconscious biases <laughs> ruin my day and you're gatekeeping the gaming space. So maybe for 2022, we'd be a bit nicer, a bit more self-reflective, and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace. Yeah, all right, let me say, look, look, okay. <laughs> I, I gotta formulate my thoughts. Formulate. <laughs> See, why ain't Morgan Webb and what's it, Olivia? How come they ain't complaining? <laughs> I said, I can wait up there. All th this, that whole rant that she probably memorized and, you know, read to herself in the bathroom mirror 15 times the night before. <laughs> All that is because, is because, see, sexism is only bad when it's not a benefit. Yeah, you see, you got to remember, that. it's only bad. When, now, okay, I'll give her a benefit out. That shit probably is jarring. Here's the thing. Like, I'll be, tell, be telling women that. I'll be telling my girl that. Like, if she want she to go on camera, and I'll be like, I don't know if you're ready for that. Because, because. Cause you know, cause Pete, and that that's just the nature that 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 is what it is to be a woman. And 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 like I said earlier, like I said before, when sexism works out, it's fine. You don't hear a fucking peep out of them. They, they'll take billion dollars from me, and if 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 if, it's, if it came from them being objectified, they'll take it. But see, when it's a problem, that's when. Olivia Bond and Morgan Webb Objectified, objectified, peace That's what all that shit comes out Morgan Webb and Olivia Bond They ain't saying I ain't, Hey, they ain't, them bitches ain't complaining <laughs> Cause these sexism's work out And the Pokemane ain't complaining The Pokemanes and them bitches uh, I don't know, man, uh, Amarath, the other bitch See, them bitches, they ain't saying a peep You know why? Because they winning at sexism So it's fine See, see, this, this is this is why this is why 
See that, and amongst other reasons, oh, that's why people just don't take women seriously because it's because because everything that they have a problem with, it's fine as long as she's winning, and when she's not winning, that's when the problem comes up. <laughs> and like, because at first, at first, when I first seen, I was like, okay, well, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying I do get that because yeah, women, women get, women do get objectified immediately but like i said it's and, and okay and at first i was when i first watched i was like okay yeah, i'm listening to this bitch like what you know, fuck she talking about and as soon as she rattled off those specific names that's when i knew oh, okay yeah yeah this see th 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 this is because morgan webb and the mother bitches they they getting they they can go off to and start their own youtube channel and still get you know thousands of views just because they pretty into and playing see see the morgan see morgan webb and Olivia Munn, well, Olivia Munn literally made, I think it was, a, no, no, Jessica Chobot, she got famous because she licked the PSP on, on, in a picture and they brought the bitch in. And, um, and Olivia Munn, I think she got famous.